Power Grinders, it's Killer B, and I'm here for another installment of uh, my lineup breakdown. Uh, we're going to analyze week nine over on DraftKings, uh, so let's dive in. So here at quarterback, you can see I went with Tom Brady. Uh, it was actually between three quarterbacks here, uh, between Big Ben, Rivers, and Brady. Uh, I actually went Brady because I had money to spare, and I knew I wasn't going to be grabbing any of the, the New England pass uh, receivers. So uh, Patriots were easily the highest projected scoring team on the slate. And what better way to get exposure than to uh, select Brady? So uh, we got 299 yards. I just missed out on that uh, yards bonus. Uh, two touchdowns with an interception. So, I mean, this was probably close to what I projected his floor to be. So uh, unfortunate, but, you know, it's still a good way to get exposure to the Patriots. Uh, moving on to running back, uh, Devontae Freeman, who's actually my only must-start at running back. Uh, the matchup and the projected potential blowout here versus a uh, 49ers team uh, definitely had me intrigued. San Fran was starting a, just a bunch of scrubs on offense, so I thought that uh, his potential touches would be even higher than his season average. Um, but he, he only actually got 20 touches here. Um, and actually, you know, San Fran's defense has been really stout at home. Um, uh, he had 12 rushing yards. Uh, 67 receiving eight catches. So, I mean, his receiving here is what really uh, returned value with uh, with a rece uh, reception touchdown. So, And then moving on to Todd Gurley. Didn't love this matchup by any means, but uh, Gurley's talent is really tough to fade at only 6,900. Uh, I was concerned about how many touches he would receive after, uh, after news broke where Jeff Fisher said he was going to try and limit the touches on uh, Gurley. But, you know... Uh, he still ended up with 27 on the day. So uh, maybe that's just coach speak to throw off the opponent. I don't know what it was, but uh, we ended up getting 109 total yards. Missed the rushing uh, uh, bonus here, but three catches and a rushing touchdown. We'll take that all day versus a, a tough Viking defense. Um, and then we'll go down to the flex here with Jeremy Langford. Uh, it's, it's tough to project a guy's workload in his first game, uh, but everything on paper screen that the Bears should – and would run the ball versus a San Diego uh, rush defense. Uh, I knew Langford had uh, good hands from his days back in Michigan State. He actually was a, a wide receiver and a cornerback his freshman and sophomore years at Michigan State. Um, but we got good production on both sides of the ball here uh, from Langford. Uh, he ended up with 142 total yards, three catches, and you know they used him in the red zone. One, run, one rushing touchdown and one two-point conversion. So uh, definitely love that. Um, and then notice here I had uh, $700, $700 left on the table uh, so I could make pivots on Monday. Uh, and this is just pure strategy. Uh, so if I was boxed out, I could pivot to Antonio Gates off of Langford. Um, and then I also could potentially box out my opponents uh, by doing the exact same tactics. So free equity, got to take it. And then uh, wide receiver Antonio Brown. Uh, this is my favorite play of the day. And what a day that was. Uh, anytime you can get just basically an elite wide receiver at a price reduction uh, from the top end wide receivers, uh, just go ahead and buy it. Uh, Brown was hungry, <laughs> and he tormented uh, the Raiders' uh, corners all day. So uh, 306 total yards on 17 catches, two carries, one of, uh, one of the greatest wide receiver days of all time. So, And then Michael Crabtree. Uh, so I knew I wanted one of uh, Raiders' wide receivers. Uh, and, you know, Crabtree's kind of been the Rodney Davidger field of NFL. Uh, everybody's just gushing about the talent of Amari Cooper, uh, and rightfully so. Uh, but they're blind on the fact that Crabtree's just really been dominating uh, the, the workload between the two. So after doing a little research, I mean, you can see that targets, touchdowns, even red zone targets, I mean, it's all going Crabtree's way. So uh, give me some of that, and uh, wow, what a day you produced. Seven catches, 108 yards, two touchdowns, got the yardage bonus. Basically checked, checked off every box that I was looking for, So, and then some. Uh, Stevie Johnson, this play was an easy one uh, after an injury uh, to Keenan Allen, made him the wide receiver one in San Diego. Uh, it's just a highly coveted spot to have uh, in an offense that is just – can only really pass the ball. So uh, at 3,200 versus the Bears corners, I mean, this was this was a must-have for me. Uh, he had seven catches, 68 yards. Uh, definitely returned in value at 3,200. We got, we got over 4X, so we'll take that. And then Heath Miller. Uh, this was going to be Austin Safarian Jenkins uh, for me, uh, but it ended up turning into uh, Heath Miller uh, on Sunday once we got news that Safarian was going to be out. Uh, it was actually uh, – it came down between Tammy and Miller. 
Um, but I just couldn't couldn't deny that o Oakland defense how how bad they've been against the uh, the tight end. So um, he got six targets on the day, so we'll take that. He actually ran a ton of routes, three catches, thirty two yards. But uh, the worst part here is the backup tight end Jesse James uh, got two targets and vaulted a TD. What a coward! <laughs> And then uh, moving on to defense, uh, this is pretty easy for me also. Broncos were only 3K versus an offense. It's been giving up three turnovers a, a game with Andrew Luck at the helm. Uh, unfortunately, worst worst performance of the year for them. Uh, only one sack on the day for them. But uh, we got bailed out to their because uh, of their special teams with a, a punt return here. So we'll take that. Um, and then overall, uh, you can see I had 195.26 uh, DK points. Uh, this was one of my better performances of the year. Uh, ended up, I think, cashing this lineup cash in over 90% of my cash uh, lineups. So uh, we'll take that all day. Um, and uh, hopefully everything went well with you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm, you're going to need a little bit of Antonio Brown to do well this week. So, uh, and if you didn't have, uh, if you didn't have uh, the Pittsburgh wide receiver, hopefully you had the running back. So, um, I mean, what a what a day for that offense. So. Uh, all right, and good luck next week.